Hey guys, Scotty here. Wanted to go through a quick video here on this new um, pressure release valve that I have developed uh, with a bunch of different pieces. I've researched a lot online on how to do this. Um, they do this on a lot of race boats. So this is really common and I'm um, surprised we haven't figured this out for our hydroflight devices. So typically the problem with everybody having issues with is blowing out their intercooler or head gaskets on these things because of overpressuring the system from say kinking the hose or just too much modifications done to the engine and pump that uh, the coolant system is just being overloaded with extreme amounts of pressure and causing these to blow out because um, typically they should not damage as soon as some of these are as new as these skis are um, unless you abuse them say salt water or something like that not flushing them but anyways, I'm just going to go through a quick uh, little setup here. This is the pressure release valve, or blow-off valve, as you may say. Um, this is going to blow off XX pressure inside any part of your coolant system you want it to go on. I'm a, I got two of these because I'm going to put one on the inner cooler, and I'm going to put one on the engine as well. So I don't have any issues, say, with... Uh, that having a head gasket, like I said, or um, you're flushing it and you're worried how much pressure to put in your uh, garden hose, you know, to f say flush out your system. This you can turn it on full blast and you'll never have that problem. But so, anyways, uh, I'm just going to go through a quick uh, run through on how a cooling system works on a jet ski so you guys can understand this system a little bit better. So, typically, you start your engine up, you got your impeller inside spinning real, real fast. Well, it's going to create a back pressure. Um, whatever extra water pressure is going to come into see these rubber lines it's probably really difficult to see but on the side of every single jet ski pump there is water lines that run and cool your engine or intercooler so any type of pressure that's going in there whether you're idling or full throttle it's going to change uh, the amount of pressure that's in your cooling system so say it's going through the back of that pump in this way into your intercooler it's doing its circulation and then it's going to be pumped right out the back after it's cooled same thing with your engine it's going to come back from the pump in through into the hole into your engine that's down in here once you do that it's going to circulate once it's done its job and circulating cool that engine it's going to do the same thing it's going to spit all the heat heated uh, coolant out the back or the side or wherever it may be on your ski um, but like I said typically the problem is you get too much pressure in there and now it causes stuff to explode inside. Say the intercooler, the veins just start to leak and or the head gasket starts to seep and you start getting coolant everywhere. Um, but this setup, you're gonna go from the back of the ski and you're gonna plumb this system in right before it hits the intercooler. So you're gonna run off your water line, find the which one goes to your intercooler and you're gonna hook that in there. Now on top of this thing, there is another hose that's going to be connected. This is your main system. It's going to run through here, boom, into your intercooler right there. And it's going to circulate and come back out the back, like I said. But this, when every time it gets backed up pressure, it's going to come out through here like this. And this is where you're going to hook, say, some of your rubber hose here. And you're going to run that to wherever you want on the jet ski. I'm going to run it up front because I like to keep it on it. Like the from the factory, they have a rubber hose here. Exit uh, for keeping an eye on your coolant to see if there's no water coming out of there. That's bad. You should not be running the ski. So I'm going to put a couple here. I'm going to put one over here for intercooler and one over here for that. So when I'm sitting on the ski, I can see over here and see the water dumping out and see exactly what's happening. You can put it wherever you want. Like I said, you can put it on the back. It's super close and drill a couple holes here, but then you can't keep an eye on it that easy. Um, but I put a quick little setup here together on the ground. This is a quick diagram on how this thing works. So this gets you to better understand how this is gonna work good for you guys. Um, this thing is fully adjustable to be honest right here. There's a cap you pop that cap off just unscrews And there's a little screwdriver in there if a spring you can thread it down in the deeper you go the t uh, more pressure It'll build up the softer you do it by uh, Unscrewing it will do the opposite. It'll lower your pressures. I got mine set at 15 pounds uh, That's with all cars and jet skis and any engine basically in general is supposed to be around 15 pounds I don't want it to go over that because then you got a risk of damaging uh, your engine or intercooler 
So I'm gonna go through this here real quick on how this works. So say this is your pump. This is all the pressure that's coming off your pump. It's gonna go through into your intercooler, which is over here on this side. This is just a straight line right here, basically. It's a T though, but your water is just gonna go straight through here, intercooler or engine, okay? Um, and then this is your blow off valve right here. And this is gonna go into this hose, which I'm gonna have a really long hose because I'm going to the front now. And then there's your little valve here on the side. There's a little hole in the bottom. You can put that anywhere you want on the jet ski. I just want it in front so I can see it. But, um, so we're gonna go from there. So like I said, this can be your engine or intercooler. So I'm gonna turn on the power. This is basically your pump pressure. This is water's gonna start flowing into your intercooler or engine. And once this gauge starts to get up there, it's gonna start dumping excess pressure out the side. So I want you to turn this on. And you're gonna see we're at 10 pounds. It's dumping pretty good out the side at 10 pounds. I got mine set at 15 to when this thing's wound up as fast as that jet ski pump will go, you're gonna hit spike up to 15 pounds. And this thing is wide open as fast as it'll go. And you can see that thing is just pouring out of the side. So now look at you, you still got your water travel through here. You still got 15 pounds of pressure going into your intercooler, no matter what. You're never gonna run out of water. But anything extra is gonna come through this valve, blow off valve, and out the side of your jet ski. So you don't have to worry about spiking your uh, pressure in your engine or intercooler, which would cause damage. So this is, and another bonus about this is, if you guys know anything about cooling systems on vehicles, if you got water flow going too fast through an engine, it will not cool it as much as you want it to. It takes a while, that, that water has to sit inside the water jackets uh, of the engine or intercooler to absorb the heat out of the engine. So this is giving you more power and performance at the same time as protecting your engine from overpressure and damaging it. So you got two for one benefits. Uh, like I said, even race skis, you don't even have to be hydro flying if you got a race ski and you got too much pump pressure going in there because you're you know water crossing or whatever this is going to protect that as well so um this is good for any application you want to put it on uh, i'm going to start selling these kits so uh you just get a hold of me and we guys can uh try to figure out what works best for your application all right thanks for watching guys